What's going on, everybody? And welcome to another episode of The Wrap Up. And for tonight, I'm going to review Escape Room. And I will say this about Escape Room. This, this Escape Room was better than the one I had went to because we did not complete we did not complete that escape room and we all would have been dead at once because we have failed obviously and this movie though I will say that it is I mean it is one of the best movies of 2019 even though it was only been 2019 for 13 days it escape room I don't think is going to be one of the worst movies of 2019. And this movie, so it follows it follows these group of strangers. Don't nobody know each other. And they're all and they're all competing for this escape room to win money. And this and this escape room is supposedly the most high advanced, high tech escape room that nobody was ever to, to complete. And and then you know when you watch the movie, you'll be like, okay, well no wonder nobody's ever to complete it because the escape room was that badass for real. And this movie, though, it was, I was impressed with the special effects. A movie like this should have good special effects. With the rooms in the movie, rooms in the movie were good. I liked the, I actually did like some of the, some of the rooms in the movie. And the movie, it should definitely get an Oscar or Golden Globe nomination for the special effects part. The acting was on point. Acting was really good. Jay Ellis, who I think did the best acting, he did the best acting out of out of everybody in this movie. And when it comes to him, I've only thing only thing I have watched with him in it that that I know of is the game. I mean, I don't have HBO, so never watched Insecure. But with the, but after seeing his performance in this movie, I do think he should get some more some more roles after this. He should definitely get more offers. And same with the and same with the girl who was on the cover of Escape Room. I've never I've never seen seen this newcomer or anything, but after seeing her in this, she should also get more offers too for movies. And and then back so back to the back to more inside of the movie. The movie each character they have a backstory. And apparently the people who work in this escape room, they know the characters' backstories. And the backstories for the characters, they there were there were there were interesting. However, a negative for this movie is that I think that it should have should have gone into maybe a little bit more detail of the characters in this movie. The movie wasn't the, the movie wasn't long at all. And you would think that you would think that a movie like that would probably been will probably be about like what three hours of trying to solve a lot of things and everything but you know what this is a movie so you can make your characters really smart at that shit to figure out all of that and when i and then when i did see the trailer i i really did want to see this movie because because i wasn't thinking of it as from like a saw or riddler from batman type of situation perspective i mean because even though it is like that that wasn't my intention at all or that wasn't what I was thinking of at first, but I mean, Saw movies are still better than this, except for Jigsaw. I mean, this is killing Jigsaw, but Escape Room, Escape Room, they, I, with, with the way the clues were of how the way they had to solve the clues in this movie, I was impressed with that, because I'm going to be honest, if that was me in an Escape Room like that, I'd probably be dead, probably be dead within like the second or third room. I would give myself maybe the the third room probably I wouldn't be able to get to figure out the clue in that movie. And I probably and yeah, I probably would have been dead. But that movie was was not boring. It it definitely did keep me up. I mean, I did not fall I did not fall asleep like I thought I would if if it would if it would if it would have been boring and if they would have had to spend a lot of time trying to figure out clues, but they all they did work as a team. You know, it involves teamwork in that movie and survival, of course. Because, you know, judging by the trailer, looks like that, you know, you are you will die for real if you do not complete this escape room. And an escape room, I for its grade, I would give escape room a B plus. Out of five stars, I give it four. 
Escape Room, yes, I give it four out of five stars because it was that good. You should definitely go see the movie. The movie would not be a waste of your money. Do not wait for it to come to Redbox. And with that being said, this is Ryan A. Polk with the wrap-up, signing off.